Okay, so today we're looking at the Rode VideoMic Me. It is a shotgun microphone made to use with your smartphone. I'm using it right now uh, in my regular uh, driving and vlogging setup, which I want to reassure everybody is completely safe. The mic is plugged in right now. Uh, I'm going to stop this video and then restart it with the mic unplugged. Uh, after I pull over so I can do that safely and then we'll see if there's any sound quality. I'm not driving incredibly fast right now. I'm just on some side streets, so road noise isn't that bad. Um, so let's compare. Okay, so this is the sound without the Rode Video Mic Me. This is the Rode Video Mic Me here. It has a nice uh, dead cap on it and a little clip to keep it secured to your phone. I'm just gonna put that down. Um, my last vlog where I was in Seattle and I was in the car a lot, I didn't like the sound quality that I had coming from my internal mic on this phone. Cell phone internal mics are generally pretty good because, hey, they're phones, they have to be good, or people aren't going to be able to hear you. I just found in relation to all the other sounds in my video that the audio levels, my voice was it was too low, it was too quiet. So hopefully this is a better solution. So I'm stopped again here and uh, I'm gonna plug the mic in. Okay, so that's with the Rode Video Mic Me plugged in. I'll be very curious to hear the difference in sound quality. All right, I don't wanna say I found the per perfect place to test this, but this might be the perfect place to test this. My lens is super dirty. Um, so I'm out. Is that level? Who cares? Uh, I'm under this overpass. This is like the best place to test this because um, it's really windy under here. Uh, there's a ton of road noise, and I might get mugged because I'm underneath Guilford Mall and I have it on video. Uh, so that's a plus. So I'm gonna plug the mic in now. Okay, so that's with the mic in, and uh, hopefully it's better. I don't know. We'll find out when we get home. This couldn't have worked out better. This this is like the the ultimate spot to test this thing out. It started raining, so I can't really walk around. I guess I can take this. I got it on a little gorilla pod thing right there. Whoa! Just about fell over. All right, back to the internal mic. Just looking for sound differences here. Looking for background noise. Looking for the way my voice sounds, and I'm not talking about whether it sounds annoying or not, because that's completely subjective and has no bearing on the quality of the microphone. Okay, there it is plugged in, and uh, we can again just see the difference in sound quality. So I'm back home now. Um, I've had a chance to sort of use this uh, Rode Video Mic Me for the better part of a day in kind of all the scenarios that I would normally be using it for. Um, with the way I vlog and um, I think I've got a pretty good idea of how I feel about this thing. I'm just gonna put my sunglasses on. I've got some allergy stuff going on here. My eyes all red so again not trying to be a just wearing the sunglasses so you don't have to look at my creepy eyes. Um, not gonna do an unboxing video. That's what the box looks like. I mean nobody cares. The biggest thing about this mic is it's really small. You know, it fits in your hand, super small, so it's not going to get in your way, and that's the number one thing you want with gear is just that it just works and it doesn't get in your way. The design works with a bunch of phones. It says on the box that it's for iPads and iPhones, but it works with anything with a 3.5 millimeter uh, jack. So, I mean, it says on the box that it works with iPhones, but only older iPhones because newer iPhones, they didn't think they needed that. So I've got my Samsung uh, Galaxy S7 here. 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, when you take this thing out of the box, it comes in two pieces. So it just comes like this, and it has this little piece here. That piece just slips over the back like so, and that's what holds it on your phone, because if you don't have that, this thing just spins around, right? So you have to have this piece attached, and it's just friction fit, so it just slides on. And then when you plug the mic in to your phone, you just, uh, is that plugged in? Yeah, you just sort of pinch it onto the phone, it's sort of rubberized, and it holds the microphone to 
your phone. So I think um, the sound quality on this thing is really, really good. I was very impressed with the sound quality. Uh, I did notice that while you're using it on your phone, if you don't have your phone in airplane mode, it sort of picks up uh, radio interference, like if, if you get a text message or a notification, or even if your phone's just communicating through data or Wi-Fi, you get a bit of back feed through the microphone, which is, uh, it's not completely unexpected, I guess, but it's a bit of a drawback. So if you want the best possible audio quality out of this microphone, put your phone on airplane mode. Uh, it'll take care of all that stuff. They do supply a dead cat with this mic. Um, to muffle uh, wind. It does get in the way of where the record button is on this particular phone app and I think it would depending on which way you're holding an iPhone I think it swaps. On Samsung's it's always on that end of the screen. It's not a big deal. It's not like you can still hit the button. It's just sort of in the way. It doesn't block the camera and I think that's the most important part so I don't know. You win some you lose some I guess. Build quality seems good. The wind noise still does get through even with this dead cat on. I have a feeling that has something to do with this right here, which is actually a very cool thing to have. That's a, a headphone jack, so you can still have headphones in and you can monitor your audio while you're recording. So if you're filming something like this, or I'd probably hold it like that, and say you've got it in, hang on a sec. Say you've got it on a little rig like this and you're filming uh, away from you, to be able to have that a headphone jack to monitor the audio, that's pretty cool. That's a nice little detail that I didn't know this microphone had before I got it. Like I said, this is not a sponsored post. I have no relationship with Rode. I bought this with my own money on Amazon. Everybody always asks me, what kind of camera should I get if I want to start a YouTube channel? What's the best camera for vlogging? What's the best camera to start a YouTube channel? It's your phone. You already have a phone. Everybody has a phone. Phones have pretty good video, pretty good audio and they're more than good enough to start a YouTube channel with. You don't need a big camera, you don't need a big microphone, you don't need lighting, you don't need, you don't need any of this stuff. Will that stuff make your videos better, a little more high quality? Absolutely, yeah, they totally will. But this little addition will make your cell phone video so much better because the most important thing about video is audio. Everybody knows that. Maybe everybody doesn't know that, but Having good quality audio will make your videos seem so much more professional. And the difference between the internal mic on a smartphone and that Rode video mic me, it is very noticeable. It does a great job of cutting out uh, noise that you don't want to hear, background noise, if you're driving, road noise. Um, it's directional, so it's just picking you up. That's all it's doing. A little bit to the sides, mostly to the front, and hardly anything to the back, which is exactly what you want out of a shotgun mic. So that's it. I mean, for $80 Canadian, I'll put, I'll put what that is in uh, America land at the bottom here. It's a worthwhile investment if you want to be a, a smartphone vlogger, which that's how everybody should start out. Don't go buy a camera if you want to be a vlogger. Start with your phone. But if you want to invest in something, I would invest in three things. I would invest in a little bendy tripod, I would invest in a little smartphone holder, and I would invest in this microphone. Rode Video Mic Me, two thumbs up, WFLBC approved. That's it for this week. Thanks a lot guys, we'll see you next week.